This is the explanation of the syringe pump and work with the one. For the work with syringe pump, you need your equipment and of course the syringe pump. So medication, microboard tubing and the pump. Here in this closer picture you can see that there is a button that slides back and forth between red and green. Red of course means that it's stopped and green it means that it's running. And in the upper right corner you can see the rabbit and a turtle button which means how fast you want this to run. And you have the button that silences the alarm that's going on. So moving back and forth between red and green you will stop or start the syringe pump. On the top of the pump you can see the slider and its position will show you uh, where in how many minutes the medication will be infused. Uh, it's approximate time in minutes. Fast side is again a uh, picture with a rabbit and a slow side is picture with a turtle. Slider position shows in how many minutes the infusion will be infused. This hook is that you can hook the syringe pump on a pole, but you really don't have to do it. Here is the line outside of the wrapper. You need alcohol swab, your medication, to prepare it before you go in the room of the patient. First, take the cap off from your syringe where your medication is stored. Attach the line to the syringe using sterile technique. Nothing can be touched except the sterile ports. When we attach the line to the syringe, we will flush it or prime it. After that, we need to find in the book the running time of our medication and that is stored in a nursing implication. Saline flush is used to flush the saline lock where we will attach our medication. You will use as many cc as the policy asks you to do, but usually we are using two cc's. Here you will see the slider is up to the end because we are trying to put our medication into the syringe pump. This is the position of the medication inside of the syringe pump. Be sure that slider is on the end of the syringe so that it can push the fluids out. Slider is the one that is pushing it. So be sure to have it as we pictured here. We will identify our patient and assess the skin around the saline lock for any redness, inflammation, or anything abnormal. Using the alcohol swab, we will clean the port of the saline lock and attach the saline flush to flush. After that, we're attaching our line and making sure to push the button to run. When it's finished, we will push the button on the other side, stop the syringe pump, and flush it with, again, 2 cc of normal saline using the same rate as our medication rate it was. That will be a usage of the syringe pump for our class.